for beginners. Well, actually, it's more how to practice strumming the ukulele. Um, in school, this is probably what the students struggle with the most when we first start. We begin with just down strums. They get that. But when I start to introduce different strumming patterns, that's when we can have some problems. Now, we don't practice just strumming to a song in school. I pop a drum machine on, choose a chord, and then we practice different strumming patterns that way. So what I've done is I've put some backing tracks together of drum beats using a drum machine at different speeds so that everybody can have a go of practicing along their strumming. I'm afraid there are no shortcuts uh, to learning how to strum. It's all about practice. Now, this video isn't the practice video. I'm going to show you how to use the different backing tracks at the different speeds, okay? And I'll pop uh, links to all of those videos in the description below. Now, the idea is when you see the screen, there are six different strumming patterns. You're not meant to practice all of them at the same time. Pick one strumming pattern, pick a chord, really doesn't matter. I'm gonna do it on a C for now, and I'm gonna use down, down, up, down, up, down, up, just as an example, okay? So, I'm using my actual real drum machine here. So, first of all, I'm gonna press play on it to make it start and feel the beat. Until you've got that one really really good all right once I've got that one sussed I move on to the next speed right just before we start the next speed a little hint don't practice until you get something right practice until you can't get it wrong all right, you really want to be on, almost on automatic pilot with your strumming so that you can then also concentrate on your chords, your singing and everything else, okay? So, we're now going to do 80 BPM or 80 beats per minute. Same strumming pattern, down, down, up, down, up, down, up and I'm still on a C. So, I feel my beat. So we're upping the tempo, we're up to 100 beats per minute, same strum pattern, all right? You can see what we're doing. We are getting faster and improving each time, hopefully. Okay, so. Feel the beat, really important. One, two, three, four. So the backing tracks, you can use them for anything, all right? Obviously, they help with the strum patterns, but there's no harm using them for chord changes as well, all right? They are just a standard drum beat for you to play along to. Right, so we go into top speed now, 120 beats per minute, okay? Keep it nice and light. Remember, the faster you go with your strumming, the lighter you make it, okay? Again, always feel your beat. Same strum pattern. Go! So, 
That is how you should be practicing your strumming, okay? It, it can be really tough to work out chords, strumming, following vocal lines or lyrics as well, all right? So sometimes it's much, much easier to separate them out. I do hope that has helped. Um, I'm a bass player, not a guitarist, so when I first started playing ukulele, I really struggled with the strumming, all right? So hopefully, by using the backing tracks and showing you how to practice your strumming, that will help. I had my trusted drum machine, all right? So by making the backing tracks, I'm hopefully helping you guys too. If you've got a comment or a question, pop it below. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. And as always, thank you for watching.